Welcome back to another episode of my trading vlog, where most of the views come from returning subscribers. If that's you, I'd appreciate the like. If not, consider subscribing, and perhaps you want to subscribe, because after all, most people who do subscribe keep watching. There's a reason for that, and that's because the analysis and the price targets, they keep coming in the way I expect. Sometimes I opinionate a little differently than the analysis dictates, and guess what? The opinion's almost always wrong. You're always fighting that battle within yourself when you're trading. It's all psychological. It's in your head. Truly it is. When you do the analysis objectively, and that is by not trading, suddenly everything becomes much clearer. Which is why I don't trade AMC and GameStop. It's one of the reasons why I don't trade AMC and GameStop. So when I do provide the analysis, it is rather unbiased. And guess what? It's right a lot. I've been catching the reversals in GameStop at various wave degrees back and forth for months now. It's been a good time. We'll get to that. Starting with SPY, I've got like 10 symbols I want to go through. So I'm going to try to spend less than a minute on every single one. I can't believe it. I believe SPY is in a topping process. It's finishing an impulse heading higher in a wave C. It could be wave three of five, but right now we have it labeled as wave C. We reached the target at 442 and are now pushing above there, typical of wave E in a rising diagonal triangle, an ending diagonal triangle, which this very well could be, signaling the end of this massive impulse heading higher. The, bear the bearish divergences and all the time frames, it's all coming together. Reach the symmetrical triangle target at 447, and that symmetrical triangle I identified in January earlier this year as we got the breakout. The target went onto the board, and it's been there for a while. So yes, I've been expecting a turn down, but every time we break a high, we have to respect it and do the Fibonacci extension tool, and we had to do that here, and sure enough, that target was reached, so there you go. Moving on to AMC next, very quickly, and on the hourly time frame, expecting some horizontal grind. We broke through the downtrend. We're going to look for a reactionary downtrend first, the 161.8 extension off of the small impulse lower we've seen after breaking that bearish divergence, I believe is going to be the measuring tool, or the start of the measuring tool for that push down, which takes us down to 434. I'm saying that we've had a bearish divergence break, typically signals significant high. And we could be going through a sideways grind in this horizontal triangle for a while before we get a breakout. I think really what's curious is APE, of course, is moving higher above 195. We're going to have to put a new price target down as soon as we get above $2. 209 is going to be a massive level of resistance. We'll see what's going on there. Again, another bearish divergence through here with a break. So we're probably setting a significant high. We're going to turn down lower. That's the bias. And we'll wait for the analysis to support otherwise, to support that or prove me otherwise, which would be rallying again to a new high above $2. We'll see if it gets there. I personally don't think it will. GameStop moving sideways. I had to revise this wave count a little bit. It's okay. There's always multiple correct Elliott wave counts. I think we've gone through A, B, and C. We're spinning on this downtrend like I said we would, and we're going to push out up higher once we can break out of two of 2437 so watch 2437 and also 2329 those are the two critical levels between there it's anyone's guess up down up down up down but once we break one of those levels and get a confirmation with a one two three move then we're targeting 2594 to the upside which is a nice rally about a dollar fifty there if we push down, we'll be testing that low at 2218. I still think we're going to head lower for wave C at 2086 eventually. This could be an ABC through of reactionary form. We even could hit 2594 before we spill to 2086. Right now, in the short term, I am, I want to say neutral to bullish, actually. I want to say neutral bearish. But honestly, uh, if, if, if equities are going to be rising because the dollar is falling, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see upside in places where we wouldn't really expect it. Going to the dollar, you can see big massive dump. You can see the RSI over here on the hourly time frame. It's just deeply oversold, like wow. And on a daily time frame, you can see that we're starting to break out lower. It looks like we're targeting 91 or 92, which would be a huge, huge fall. You can see that this divergence through here broke, and now we're probably sitting a significant low. So we're going to be watching for a reversal here, actually, especially since on a larger time frame, uh, let me go monthly max, I'll do the trick. There's this massive triangle through here, and on the monthly, you can see, actually, it looks more like this. On the weekly, the price extremes push this uh, a little higher, and the price is currently bouncing there on the weekly. Maybe I should just go to the time frame and put this on the weekly and not describe it, but actually show it. You can see right there. It looks like we could be finding some support through here all of a sudden. We're probably setting a significant low. This will probably be a short C wave, and then we'll push up to 120 because the rates are going to rise. And remember, central banks all impact each other's currency strength with the strength of their own currency. It's a basket of currencies upon which 
the strength of a currency is measured. Keep that in mind. Now, this dip is good for SLV and GLD. I, I forecasted a massive rally in SLV a while ago, at, back here at $17, really. And then I started to follow it again more closely at the beginning of this year. This is not a smaller time frame, but there was a leading diagonal triangle through here. It looks like a rising wedge, but it's not. And then boom, price soared all the way to $23.75. That target was hit almost perfectly. And since then, I've been saying we're going to go into retracement. We did. We've broken those uptrends. We're grinding sideways, but now we're starting to see a new high set. We see volume coming back in. Implied volatility is positively correlated with the uptrend. This is looking really good for SLV. GLD has fallen through that uptrend. That's fine. I've been waiting for the pullback in GLD. We've had it. We've set some pretty damn well near all-time highs. And we're going to be setting those new highs coming into the future, I believe. Very bullish long-term silver and gold. I really am. SLV and GLD are equities that trade based on silver and gold. I think GLD actually is um, has an ownership it, it, it like there actually is gold in a vault somewhere and those shares are written against that gold that doesn't really matter whatever moving on let's hit uh nvidia really quickly what's my time at six minutes already too long i've already lost half my viewers <laughs> Nvidia is pushing higher and this is something I was expecting and I'm really looking for targets at 477 and 473 Started to doubt whether we'd get there, but today's action really confirms it setting that new high I expect to find a top through there and the development of a rising wedge. I don't have quite all the touch points here, do I? I mean, I, I could finagle it a little bit. This doesn't quite have the right angle or slope this might even be more bullish than anticipated. We really could see the extension and we could hit 512, but we are, I believe, forming a top. It will take a while to form it. After all, the horizontal consolidation has been going on for like over a month. So this topping process could take just as long. Let's go look at IWM too, while we're uh, just making the rounds. IWM is coming up to that 194.44 target. I expect to get there and then reverse. This is a very sharp uptrend through here. And to me, it, I, I don't trust these sorts of trends. I really don't. It just looks over exuberant. I, I don't think volume is really supporting a move like this, at least not that sharp. Low volume push coming up to, well, form a bearish divergence right now on the RSI because so far the RSI hasn't peaked since, what day was this? June 7th. You can see that uh, there could be a divergence through here. And this chart's a little messy. I'll clean that up later. Going into AMD, this is a really big analysis. I think we could be seeing a new high at 124 at the short in the short term, wave B, and then we'll spill down for wave C on a higher degree. And we'll complete wave four, and that will eventually set us up for the sideways bounce to keep going to complete waves three, four, and five of the two higher wave degrees. I think we're moving through a double three wave extension through here. We could reach as high as 173 before we top. And that might be a new all time high. I'm saying at the cycle wave, that may be uh, the peak right there. And so I would say maybe short term bullish, medium term neutral, long term bullish, but longest term bearish. <laughs> because I expect that wave five will begin a retracement. And that retracement is going to, re is going to be um, based on the amplitude of this rally from $1.80 to $180. If we see a 50% decline, wouldn't that be nuts? That would take us probably somewhere to about $50, $60, I want to say. Uh, but really, the, it would be, I know this is going to sound extreme, but that, I, that might be the peak of, a, of an extreme correction in AMD. It just depends whether or not we're looking at a bubble. If we are looking at a bubble, then yeah. If not a bubble, then of course not that low, probably down to 92. That's a very realistic, but anyway, I wanna to get too much into that. I don't really have the data to make any big speculative projections there. And let's go to Playboy last. Playboy is my favorite, of course. Its monthly chart looks hilarious. The gush, but yeah, turning up on the monthly chart. Look at that, Playboy is going nuts. I haven't looked at that in a while. Going into the hourly time frame, going into the 15 minute time frame, turning on the 15 minute drawings. <laughs> You're going to see that there's a lot of wave counting going on here. Go back to my video that's called Elliott Wave Explained, and I break this down in a lot of detail. And price is moving as per expected really nicely. Grinding sideways so far when I'm calling wave 2 or wave B at the minuet degree. Looking for wave 5 to push up and out. Nice strong green day today. Closing high. Implied volatility you can see down here. It's spiking and price is set up to run to $2. But we have to get that confirmation breakout at 186 first. We're so close 
214 is the extension target. I'm very excited about what's going on here in Playboy. I think that's all I want to go through today. After all, I did do a whole take, and it was like 20 minutes. I even processed the video, but then guess what? My mic was off. <laughs> Happy trading.